This is video 25.3. We will be solving a problem with a diffraction grating. The question. White light containing wavelengths that range from 400 nanometers to 760 nanometers falls on a grating with 8,000 lines per centimeter. We would like to know how wide is the first order spectrum on a screen that is 2.3 meters away. In the diagram below, this is the distance x. First we'll find the distance between the grading lines. We need to know this in order to perform the following calculations. It was stated in the problem that there are 8,000 lines per centimeter, which means that the distance between two adjacent lines is 1 over 8,000 centimeters. If we want to convert this to meters, we have to divide by 100. This gives us 1.25 micrometers as the spacing between the grading lines. Next, we'll find the location of the violet band V. After we do this, we'll find the location of the red band, which is V plus X, and then we'll subtract the two to find the width of the band, X. This is the relationship between the angle, the wavelength, the spacing between the grading lines, and the order spectra that you're looking at. We can solve for the angle. And then we plug in what we know. The violet band has a shorter wavelength than the red band. So it's the 400 nanometers that we plug in for lambda. M is 1 because we're looking for the first order band and we just found the spacing between the grading lines. This gives us the value for the angle. Now in order to find the distance v, we use a little geometry. Looking at the diagram below, we see that tangent of the angle is equal to opposite over adjacent, v over l, where l is the distance from the grading to the screen, in this case 2.3 meters. So V is L tan theta. Which is 0.77 meters. Now we'll repeat the same thing for the red band, which is at a location X plus V. From the previous slide, we know that the angle for the red band is given by this relationship, where here lambda is the wavelength of the red light. This was stated to be 760 nanometers. So this angle is 37.4 degrees. And once again from the previous slide, we have x plus v is equal to L tan theta. Which is equal to 2.3 tangent of 37.4 or 1.76 meters. Now we'll find the spectrum width. As stated, this is simply x plus v minus v or 1.76 minus 0.77, which is 0.99 meters, or 99 centimeters. And that concludes video 25.3. Check out PhysicsX on the app stores. This revolutionary physics app for smartphones and tablets contains over 100 videos and 500 multiple choice questions designed by education experts. It's been proven to improve scores for intro college physics 
AP Physics, MCAT Physics, and more. Just look for the blue icon.